Hi everyone, it's Miss Hutton here again. I'm hoping we can do a little bit of science today. Have any of you been feeling a little bit cooped up lately? A little bit stuck indoors without having very much fresh air and exposure to some nature? Well, today we're going to talk about trees. So, I have come up with a little bit of a tree observation worksheet and that's available for all of you to open up on a computer, type in, print it off, and write in. And the whole idea is to go for a walk out to your backyard, around your house, and take a look at some trees. So I've also uploaded a little bit of information from two trusty books, one book and one pamphlet, that I have on trees. And essentially, these books are written for adults, but what they look at and what they tell you is some different things to look at when you're observing trees. Because how do we know if this tree right here is different from this tree right there? So when we look out our window, we go for a walk in the forest, and we look at all the plants and the trees around us, how do we tell them apart? So what I placed on your worksheet is a box that looks at the bark of a tree. The bark is almost like a tree's skin. So that's the outer covering all along the tree trunk. And that bark will be different on different types of trees. The next box I have is to look at the leaves or the needles on the tree. So depending on the type of tree that you're looking at, it might have leaves on it, it might have prickly needles, it might have smooth black needles, and it might at this time of year just have little buds where little flowers or little leaves are starting to grow in the springtime. So that's something that you can look at and think about when you're looking at trees. And I've also left another box for just other things that we notice. So maybe you notice the tree is really, 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 really tall. Or maybe it's just a little bit tiny. Or maybe there's leaves that are just starting to grow. Maybe you see some animals in your tree. Maybe you notice the type of place where your tree is living. Is the ground around your tree wet or really dry? Are there other plants and other things growing near your tree? What are some different things that you notice when you look at this tree? So, here's your task. Go outside, take a look all around you, make sure that you're following all of the safety protocols for social distancing, so you're not near anybody else that isn't within your household, and you have the permission of an adult or an adult with you to either look in your backyard or somewhere very close to your home to see if you can see a tree. Take a look at this sheet, think about the bark on the trunk of the tree, think about the branches, think about any leaves or needles or things that are on the tree, and think about descriptive words that you could use to describe your tree. To help you, at the bottom of your sheet, I've added a few different words that you might want to think about in case they help you describe what the tree looks like. So, I have leaf, needle, bark, and bud. The bud is that little green bump on the tree where a leaf or a flower is starting to grow. You could look at the color of the tree, dark green, light green, dark brown, light brown. Maybe it has a little bit of gray or maybe it's a different color altogether. You could look to see whether needles or bark is rough, smooth, pointy, prickly. Maybe it's got little veins, like this picture of a leaf. You can see the veins going within the leaf. Maybe it's crowded needles that are all very close together. Maybe they're spread apart. Maybe the leaves or the needles or the bark on your tree form some kind of a pattern. Maybe it's scaly, bumpy. You can look at smells. Maybe you can smell something when you're near your tree. Or maybe the leaf or the needles have a smell to it. You can look at the size, narrow, broad, thin, thick. So many different descriptive words. A big part of this is to just get outside, take a look. 
And then if you want to take some extra time at the end, you can look through some of the information and things that I uploaded and see if you can figure out what kind of tree it is. Feel free to talk to other people in your house, talk to parents, guardians, brothers, sisters, whomever else is living with you and see if you can figure it out. All right, are you ready? Let's do it.